I wanted to make a video and talk about uh, some of my favorite supplements that I take uh, personally or I have recommended to others. Uh, I used to work in the supplement industry. I'm very, very familiar with uh, a lot of different supplements. So I just wanted to take a moment and uh, talk to you guys a little bit about some of the ones that I do like. You know, many of the supplements that are sold today, they're not effective and they're not being absorbed properly. First of all, the company that makes makes whatever it is that you're wanting to take, the herb that you're wanting to take, most of the time these are not processed correctly. They use too much heat. They use chemicals, they use solvents to extract the divine plant essence, and this is going to render the supplement ineffective, and this is what really frustrates me, because when people are trying to get healthy, they're spending their hard-earned money on these supplements that are not effective. So if you are in fact going to supplement, at least do your research and find out what companies are making the pure herbs, extracting them properly, ethically, harvesting these organically, and then buy accordingly. The key to longevity is to detoxify the liver, flood the trillion of cells in your electric body with live enzymes. In doing so, this restores the good internal flora in the gut. We've got to increase the bifidobacteria in the gut. We've got to, in, we've got to get our prebiotics so that we can build our probiotics in our gut. And we do that by juicing. When you juice, you break the cell wall open and you extract only the phytonutrients. These phytonutrients go to work right away. The enzyme absorption starts in the mouth and the jawline. This is how amino acids work. The absorption process starts in the jawline, so savor your juice before you swallow it down. But, but juicing, when you juice, your, your digestive system gets a complete break. Uh, your body does not have to do any work. If you want to heal your condition, you want to heal your sickness or your disease, you need to start flooding your cells with live enzymes. Healing is not found in cooked, processed, radiated, pasteurized, microwaved, bottled, packaged, genetically modified foods. These are dead enzymes and they're going to make your body more acidic. And we need to wake up to this. We need to wake up to these truths and I'm excited to uh, share. In this video I'm probably going to also answer some questions uh, because I am asked a lot of questions and that that is an answer to uh, uh, an important question that I get asked often is why we should juice as opposed to blending. I like to blend too. Uh, I, I, I save my blending more for the fruits. I don't blend my vegetables. I juice my vegetables. Uh, when you blend, your digestive system still has to work. Uh, yes, we need the fiber, so I am an advocate of blending some as well, but uh, if you're trying to detoxify the body, you don't want to be blending a lot because your digestive system is never going to get the break that it's needed. Our, our, our digestive system needs a break so that healing can occur within our body. Uh, you're going to have a hard time detoxifying your liver if your digestive system is constantly working to break down the food that's in your stomach. So we need, we need to allow a break and we, to detoxify, uh, I recommend detoxifying with the juiced feast. Just juice for three days, four days straight. It, you are going to feel so much better. Your, your head will be so, so much clearer. You will think clearly. You know, a lot of times people aren't thinking clearly because they've got parasites in their brain. Parasites attach all up and down the spinal column, all up in the gut. Uh, that's what this overgrowth of candida does. This this overgrowth of candida turns into a fungus that turns parasitic. It has what's called hyphae that literally is finger-like uh, finger -like attachments that attach to the cells. This is why people aren't thinking clearly. We've got to deprogram from all of this. We've got to 
restore the internal flora in the gut. And you do that all by juicing and by taking a first cer- certain few supplements, guys. This, this first supplement that I'm going to tell you about is called black cumin seed oil. Very, very healing. And this is a brand called Himani. And, uh, I, this is cold pressed. They don't use any heat or hexane to process this. And that's the problem with most of the black seed oils out there. I know there are some good ones. Uh, but this is a good one that I found that's not quite as expensive as the others. That, that's a thousand milliliters or one liter. 33.8 ounces, I believe, for uh, about 35 bucks. And I bought that online, and they shipped it to me, and I love it. Uh, I've been taking it for over a month, and I've recommended it already to other people. And it will be featured in my part two on my black cumin seed video when I do that soon, because more research has come out on that. Um, if you don't like the oil, take a soft gel. Just take one that is not, uh, this is hexane free, it's cold pressed. Uh, there are no other ingredients. Let me see if I can focus in on this. There are no other ingredients in this, just the black seed oil, just the nigella sativa. So this is a good brand. Uh, Health Logic makes this. It's soft gels. Uh, I like the oil better, guys. I mean, I like just to take the oil, but if you can't swallow it, the soft gel is an option. I get asked that a lot, too. Um, this is also another really good black cumin seed oil that I have found. Let me see if I can focus in on this. Uh, Herbs and Spice make this. And by the way, I like pretty much all of their stuff. I find that this particular brand, North American Herb and Spice, processes it correctly. Let me show you what this one's got in it. Tell me this isn't going to be healing to your body. Wild Mediterranean Black Seed, Mediterranean Cumin, Red Sour Grape. I mean... You cannot go wrong with ingredients like that. Hello. Uh, Now, for inflammation, let me show you a few products that I like for inflammation. Um, This is one of my favorite ones. If you've got any type of pain... Uh, This is a result of inflammation in the body. All forms of sickness are a result of inflammation in the body. So ideally, if we can, we can try to, if we can somehow decrease this inflammation now, by juicing, you're going to do it automatically. Please know this. This is why I'm an advocate of juicing. Get your ginger and get your turmeric on in every single juice. Build up to where you're using more and more ginger and turmeric each time in your juicing if you have pain and inflammation. Each time, baby. Each time. And what I do with my turmeric is I either crush up the black pepper and and include it in the juice, the peppercorns, or I put a few drops of Young Living uh, Essential Oil Black Pepper in with the the, the turmeric. And this makes the curcuminoids and the rhizome of the turmeric more absorbable to the body. It's going to stay active in the body a lot, lot longer with the piperine and the black pepper. So always include that, but if you want to decrease inflammation, get your ginger with his gingerols and your turmeric with his curcuminoids on, baby, because it will decrease inflammation in your body. Now, with that being said, there are some supplements that you can take as well, and this is a really good brand of supplements. Uh, This is made by Europharma. Terry Naturally makes this. It's called CureMed. I met this guy. He came and spoke at my store uh, one time, and I had a really good conversation with him, and I I like him. I think he's very honest. Uh, He traveled around the world and and figured out how to formulate these, and he does them correctly. Let me tell you about it. Uh, Let me focus in on the ingredients on this, because this just contains the curamin, uh, rhizome extract. It's a, it's a process called BCM95. Uh, it's got turmeric essential oils. It says supplying 250 milligrams of pure curcuminoids. Now, this BCM, uh, process is, has been, uh, has been used in 18 groundbreaking published studies. This is the only patented curcumin with turmeric essential oils, and I feel like that's important. Uh, turmeric supports liver, brain, heart, and immune health. 
Uh, this has an outrageously high auric value, so this is a free radical scavenger. Guys, if you have pain, you have inflammation, uh, consider taking a product like this. Now, they make one called Curamin that I really like as well, and this is just the Curamed. This is just a soft gel of the curcumin that's processed correctly. So this is going to be wildly effective for your for your inflammation and your pain. Uh, the only issue with that product is it is kind of expensive. Uh, but, you know, you pay for what you get a lot of times with things like that. Now, let's talk about another one that's really good for inflammation that I like. And this is one I was recently turned on to that Mega Foods makes. They make a daily... Uh, turmeric, and let me see if I can focus in on the ingredients in this. Five hundred milligrams of organic turmeric, organic holy basil, which I love. It's adaptogenic, and then the bioprene black pepper, and then look at the other ingredients in it: black cherry, which is going to help with inflammation; black raspberry, which is a potent free radical scavenger; wild blueberry, which is divine for everything; cranberry, which is good for the urinary urinary issues. Uh, this is a wonderful product. There's not any uh, fillers in this, uh, no added sugars or sweeteners, flavorings, preservatives, or fillers. Uh, I recommend refrigerating this after it's been opened. Consume it within three months. But this is a, this is a really good turmeric that you can just add with whatever you want to add it to. It tastes great in just water. Usually what I do with all of my supplements that are powdered like that is I drink a majority of my juice down from my juice glass. I save just a little bit. And then if I want to put oils or powders in, you know, a lot of these oils that I put in my juices, they, oils and water don't mix. So if you're wanting to consume it, make sure that you're actually drinking down the oil and the juice. And so to do this, I wait until almost all of the juice is gone, and then I put the drop in. You can see the oil uh, usually usually will sit on top of the juice, and then I just swallow this down with the juice. Uh, I swish it around in my mouth before I actually swallow it because this is how the oils are more absorbable. If we can put, if we can learn to put some oils directly under our tongue, this is how they're going to be wildly effective for your body, in my opinion. Now, that being said, you can't just start consuming oils this way if you don't know how they resonate for your own vibrations. Oils work because they have a small molecular size. They penetrate the skin instantly. They have a divine intelligence because they carry live vibrations. So as soon as you apply an oil to your skin, you're going to feel it instantly. You're going to, you, all of your senses are going to be heightened. I love them. I love them. But the problem with oils... Oops, sorry, I turned that up. The problem with oils is uh, people do not know how to uh, properly use them. Uh, so we need to educate ourselves on on what oils resonate for your own personal vibrations uh, because many times uh, people can have some severe negative reactions when they start slathering their self with these oils. Uh, and by the way, many of the times these oils are not natural. Uh, I recommend uh, companies that, that make pure oils like Young Living or doTERRA. Research your oil before, you're, before you decide to get your oil on is all I'm going to tell you. Because many of these companies are not processing them correctly. They're using heat or some sort of synthetic chemical to extract the oil, rendering the oil uh, ineffective. Uh, now for... Uh, Let's talk just a little bit about adaptogens because these are really going to help you as you detoxify. Um, if, you, if you're just starting a detox process, get a brand of milk thistle like that. Milk thistle is going to dump toxins from your liver. A healthy liver is a healthy body. Uh, if you can detoxify your liver, uh, more than likely your other organs are going to follow. So dump the toxins from your liver using something like milk thistle. Juice for three or four days. Use milk thistle and then take zeolite. Um, this is a good zeolite powder that I found. Uh, I like zeolite pure, that brand, and then I like this one. 
and then of course the Health Force brand that I listed in my Zeolite video, but this is one that I just recently was turned on to and I'm finding it very, very beneficial. Garden of Eden, uh, it's 100% pure. Uh, zeolite traps and expels the toxins in your body that it comes in contact with so that being said uh, it's not going to seek out the toxin you've got to disperse it correctly and how I do that is by drinking all, most of my juice down saving the last little bit and then I, I will take a teaspoon or two and put it in my juice and then consume it this way and this is going to help to disperse the zeolite uh, zeolite has a honeycomb crystalline uh, structure and it, it the toxins come into contact with it and it cannot escape this cage this zeolite cage this is the reason why you need a good get a good brand of zeolite because most of the time the really cheap brands of zeolite will crush the cage there is no such thing as a liquid zeolite uh, the, the zeolite would be a murky color uh, this is zeolite here it's a it's a it's a murky it's a gray it's a it's a it's a powder it's a clay it comes from a volcanic source and it's divine healing for the body in every way so that's something that you can take every single day if you're just starting on your detox journey now if you're detoxing you're also going to have parasites uh, so we need to work to rid the parasites now there are a couple of herbs that you can take that I like for this and I'll show them to you uh, these aren't all of them, but these are just a few. I'll probably do a couple of these videos where I feature uh, essential oils that I like to take. This guy, I love this brand because they all of their soft gels that they make, it's a liquid-filled phyto extract. Uh, they don't use heat. They don't use chemicals to extract them. I don't work for these companies, guys. I just like the brand. Uh, I used to sell these, and I would recommend this brand more than any other brand because I found it to be effective. Uh, this one is Wormwood and Black. Black Walnut Supreme. Uh, let me see if I can focus in on this for you. Oh, I'm already focused in, I guess. Uh, black Walnut Green Holes. Now, this is going to help rid the parasites. That's what Black Walnut uh, Green Holes do. Wormwood helps is anti-parasitic. Uh, well, you can read the rest of it. Ginger is at the end. Ginger is always a buffer. So if you have any kind of issues with any of the supplements that you're taking, if you're taking a really good cayenne supplement now and you've, you've got issues with the heat on the stomach, uh, take it with a buffer of ginger. So encapsulate your own if you need to and put uh, two parts of ginger and one part of whatever the herb is and you'll find that the ginger will buffer it for your stomach. Okay? That's just a little helpful tip there. Uh... Let me see what else I've got down here. Oh, this this is another good one for parasites. It's called Scram. Health Force Detox makes this. Let me see if I can show you the ingredients on this. Uh, you probably can't read this. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have the best setup for this. Uh, clove, a black walnut hull, uh, concha... Uh, wormwood, milk thistle, uh, protease, amylase, cellulase, and lipase. Uh, so I like these because it's got some enzymes with it that's going to help. Uh, it's going to act as kind of an enzyme catalyst for those other ingredients. Uh, so that's that's a good uh, product for specifically for uh, parasites. It's anti-parasitic. It's a parasite formula. Now uh, let me see what else I've got down here. I've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, let me talk about adaptogens because I said I would and I'll probably end it with that because I've gone over my time span here that I wanted to talk to you guys for. But uh, this is uh, this is a good adaptogenic formula that Gaia makes called Adrenal Health. And this contains, uh, let me focus in, this contains Siberian rhodiola extract, holy basil, uh, ashwagandha, There we go. Ashwagandha, wild oat, shizandra. These are all adaptogens, guys. All this has in it is healing adaptogens. Adaptogens adapt in your body to what they, what they need to adapt to. If you've got stress, you've got anxiety, you're a little depressed, you've got uh, underactive thyroid function, 
This is a good product for you. It says promotes healthy response to stress, and it does in fact do that. This is a liquid filled phyto cap that's very very beneficial. This is a product, guys, that I take. I take this product uh, pretty much every day, and I find it beneficial. Now, this is another good adaptogen formula that Mega Foods makes, and let me let me show you what it's got in it. Uh, it's got uh, sensorial ashwagandha, uh, rhodiola, holy basil, cordyceps mushrooms, uh, reishi, reishi uh, astragalus, and schizandra. These are all healing and adaptogenic to the body. It's in a base of vitamin C. Most of the time, I'm not a big fan of a lot of vitamin C supplements because it's not absorbable, but uh, if you're taking it in an adaptogenic blend like this uh, with a plant cellulose capsule, guys, it needs to be a, a vegetarian capsule and no other ingredients okay this does say vegetable lubricant and silica and i'm okay with that uh this brand i i found uh they seem to harvest the herbs properly uh, so i think it's probably a good reputable uh company uh another another brand that i like uh, for an antioxidant is a garden of life makes a raw CoQ10. I think CoQ10, ubiquinol is the reduced form of this and I find it very, very beneficial. Uh, so this is just one that I personally uh, like. Um, just so you know, it, it's the garden of life raw CoQ10. Uh, the, let me see what else I've got down here. I've got some. I've got one other product that I wanted to show you. Maybe it's on my cabinet. Yeah, it. This is called. Uh, this is by that same company that I love, North American Herb and Spice, and it's called Shaga Power. It's a wild raw Shaga em emulsion. And Shaga. I'm about to do a video on Shaga, but if you if you're not familiar with it, you need to get familiar with it pretty fast because there's not much that it won't do for you. Shaga is one of the most potent free radical scavengers. It contains the highest amount of superoxide dismutase, which is the master antioxidant. This blend has uh, raw shaga in it. It has oil of wild oregano, which is the P70, their P73 formula, which is wonderful, wonderful healing to the body. Uh, sorry, you can't really see that. This setup isn't really working too good, but hopefully you guys will get the message anyway. Um, another SOD supplement that I like, that I found that's effective, is uh, the Life Extension makes an SOD. Uh, and this contain this is in a, a really unique formula uh, because the proprietary blend includes some wheat. You know, all this wheat doesn't get broken down in our stomach. So this is going to get delivered to the gut, which is where it's going to be most effective. Uh, but this also contains uh, uh, the wolfberry, and th those are very, very healing to the body. I've got a video on that. Uh, and I'm about to do some videos on superoxide dismutase, so stay tuned for that. Um, another product that I like uh, to detoxify and that I found that's very beneficial for people with cancer, uh, this is called Oxygen Treatment Therapy, and I'm not going to get into specifics on this now, but I will do a video on this, but this is based on... Uh, this is based on groundbreaking research by Dr. William Koch, and it's this is a powerful immune system booster, and it is a uh, hydrogen peroxide uh, glyoxide. It, oxygen treatment therapy is produced according to Dr. Koch's method of producing glyoxide. Uh, you have to really follow the instructions when you're taking this. This is like uh, a two or three week detox, I forget, but uh, you build up to where you take a little bit more each day and it just expels toxins out of the body. 
fast, this will help you to detoxify. It really will. Uh, and I'll, I'll do a video specifically where I talk about that. Now, one other product that I like for detoxifying is the Gaia also makes a liver cleanse. I like all their formulas, guys. If you have trouble sleeping, try one they make called Sleep Through. Uh, it's wonderful because it's just adapted and adaptogens to help you sleep. If you have trouble sleeping, try more adaptogens. Uh, try adaptogens like Bacopa specifically. That one should help you sleep if you just take it by itself. Uh, this is called Liver Cleanse, and it contains, let me just see if I can focus in on this, uh, uh, milk thistle, turmeric, uh, cordyceps, artichoke, let me see what else, dandelion, uh, cordalis, not uh, cordyceps, sorry, burdock, uh, Anyway, this is a, of course, ginger is in there. Ginger acts as a buffer. Uh, it's the reason why I like a lot of their supplements because they do contain ginger, acts as a buffer. Um, but milk thistle aids in detoxification and regulation of the uh, blood sugar. Uh, your, your dandelion is going to act as a natural diuretic to flush toxins out, and the burdock helps to purify the blood. So this blend right here will really help to detoxify your liver, which is what we want, guys. Now, a few of my favorite uh, oils that I use on a daily basis, I'll just show you these real quick too, and then I'll end this video. But uh, I take, Young Living makes one called Stress Away with Copaiba, vanilla, lime, I forget what else is in it, but this is a very, very good blend for stress. I use it all the time. Uh, and it smells wonderful too, by the way. You can also put this on your face. You can put it on your crow's feet. Copaiba tightens the skin, very healing and regenerating to the skin. And it's also very good for pain relief. You have any kind of pain, that's going to be a pain relieving oil. Uh, not the most potent pain relieving oil because I like the Copaiba combined with black pepper and wintergreen. I formulate my own pain relieving oils with an emu oil or arnica oil base or sometimes both. Uh, but that, that blend right there will help with pain too. Now I like this one as well called Joy. Um, this one has rose. Uh, it has citrus, bergamot, lang lang, uh, lemon, jasmine, I mean rose, I mean tangerine. How divine is that blend? And it smells quite blissful too, by the way. Uh, and of course, this is m probably my absolute favorite oil, which is the Thieves. Uh, the Thieves contain the ph your phenol oils, the cinnamon, uh, the clove uh, that are going to help open up the receptor sites. Uh, with essential oils, you want to start with the phenol type oils. You want to get the receptor sites open so that then we can hit them with the terpenes, the monoterpenes, the sequiterpenes found in oils like frankincense, for example. Uh, let me see what else I've got down here. Now, another recommendation that I'm going to make is, of course, to all get some of this stone right here. It comes from Karelia, Russia. It's called Shungite. It's the oldest stone on the planet. I've got one video on it already, and I'm about to do another video on this where I where I explain what fullerenes do more specifically. But if you want to, a lot of people are asking me about water. What type of water should I drink? Should I uh, drink water out of a bottle? And my answer to that is no. Water should be flowing. It should carry a vibration. Uh, we should never drink water out of the tap ever. Uh, what I recommend people do is to buy it pure. If you, if you can, what I do is I have apple, old apple jars uh, that that are a two gallon uh, apple juice jars that I that I purchase the apple juice in organic apple juice in. Uh, but I don't do that anymore because I make my own apple juice. But I have all these old jars that I use and I refill and I refill and and get purified water because I live in a city and uh, you know my the, my tap water is municipal water with all of the poisons in it, uh, sodium fluoride, which is a known carcinogen and a rat poison, and it calcifies your pineal gland, and so you don't want to be drinking this water and you don't want to be absorbing this water uh, under your dermal layer when you take a shower either, by the way. We need to be, we need to be putting a filter on our shower, and my, my shower filter contains this stone in it. Uh, now, not the elite noble shungite, but it contains something like this that's crushed up. This is just the grade three shungite. Uh, and it's, and it's, a, it's the oldest stone on the planet. And when, when it's combined with water, it adds what's called fullerenes to the water. And this makes the water literally anti-aging. Uh, 
I'm not joking with this. I can't wait to share this information. I'm not going to elaborate too much more on it now, uh, but re- but research has been done on this. And if you want to, if you want a healing structured vibrational water, put your water in a metal pot. Put a few stones of this in it. What I usually do. Let me just show you. Uh, this is an old bottle that in the bottom of this I have uh, shungite. Uh, this is a this is a stainless steel uh, pitcher, and in the bottom of that is Noble Elite shungite. And my, by the way, my dog also drinks this water. But you'll notice what this stone will do with this water is you will get some you will get some bubbles in this water. Uh, you, you will this water is going to restructure. And what you want to do before you drink it is you just want to bless it because thought carries vibration. Everything in the universe carries frequency and vibration. So we need to be blessing our water. If if you've got a sickness or disease, you need you need to speak that. You need to speak that before you consume your water to that water, and that water literally is going to at that point carry a higher vibration. Please know this. Uh, but but shungite infused water with the fullerenes is a is a secret that the world needs to learn about because it's it's an antihistamine water it's a regenerating water it's an anti-aging water literally the shungite stone in in my opinion is the untapped fountain of youth so stay tuned for my shungite video anyway you guys have a great day i'm probably going to do another one of these videos where i talk more about uh supplements that i take i i didn't really get into uh all of them, you know, I didn't, I didn't really talk about the Essiac. Uh, this is a really good mushroom blend. Uh, Host Force makes a mushroom liver blend uh, that contains shaga, uh, reishi, turkey tail, turmeric, and milk thistle. Uh, I really like that blend. Uh, this is another liver blend that Health Force makes with milk thistle. Uh, this is another mushroom blend that I that I like. Mushroom Mi- Wisdom makes the best mushrooms, and they make a really good mataki mushroom. Uh, this is a pretty good enzyme formula. This brand makes good enzymes. Uh, let me see what else I've got down here. Uh, this is a this is a really good uh, natural vitamin C. You can encapsulate your own. Um, Hibiscus flower is a really good supplement to take. This is a this is synovial. Uh, this is hyla, a, a, a vegan source hyaluronic acid. Uh, this is going to increase the uh, uh, synovial fluid in between the joints. So this is a really good problem if you have joint pain. It's called hyaluronic acid. Uh, and so look into the, look into this brand. Uh, but I didn't really go into detail much about that. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Uh, Himalayan makes good herbs uh, to help to detoxify the liver. I like all their stuff. Uh, they make some wonderful blends too. And this promotes detox and normal liver enzyme levels. Uh, let me see what else I've got. I think that's it. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Hopefully you'll find this video somewhat beneficial. Uh, I just wanted to answer a few questions, and I wanted to show some people some supplements that I like and that I recommend. Now, all those that I showed you, I don't take all those daily. I, you, you will find that you will not have to take any supplements if you juice. If you juice three or four times a day, your body is going to get everything that it needs. Start with the basic juice blend as outlined on this channel and then build up to juicing more alkalizing greens. The dandelion, the watercress, the, the, the cabbage, the spinach, the kale. The shard, all, I mean, all of it, guys, all of it. Start including it. Uh, you don't like the way it tastes? Add more apples. As you detoxify, 
you will begin to love the way these divine phytonutrients taste. That's what's going to happen. The more and more you detoxify, the less deprogrammed you become because you're going to start to rid the parasites. And then you're going to start craving some of these divine phytonutrients that are so healthy for you. So if you're on a budget, start with the carrot. The carrot will do it all, baby. Uh, it really will. If, if that's all you can afford, just get your carrot and maybe your lemon on. Uh, lemons do everything. Uh, include a full lemon with the peel in all of your juices because it's the oil that's in the peel that is so healing for us. You want to boost your immune system or your child's immune system? Get it, make, make your own lemon essential oil with a fully masticating juicer with the blank screen still on and extract all of the oils out of the peel. And then you can encapsulate your own vitamin C in a coconut oil base. You can diffuse this lemon oil through the room and it's uh, lemon oil diffused is is, is uh, antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal. It's going to kill airborne pathogens. No joke. And it also puts you in a good mood. Lemon oil diffused will put you in a good mood. So we need to all be diffusing this this winter to boost our children's immune system. And the oil, by the way, can also be applied to the bottom of the feet before they go to bed. Uh, very, very healing and stimulating to their immune system. Uh, my my uh, uh, my sister in law applies a blend like the thieves to the bottom of the kiddo's feet before she goes to bed with, of course, a carrier oil on first. Uh, but don't just start putting oils on your kids if you don't know how they resonate. Do a patch test first always and use common sense. Anyway, have a great day. Peace, love, and positive vibrations. I am grateful to you all. Please stay tuned because I've got a lot of stuff coming up that I'm really excited about sharing. We're all going to get healthy. We are all going to get healthy. No more sickness and no more pain in the presence of all these live enzymes. Have a great day.